Yeah, hi guys, it's Peter back for yet another video. I thought I'd do a different sort of video today. I just um, recently was just do, playing some, last week or so, but playing a pink, some, my Pink Floyd vinyl. Most, most, mostly The Wall. Um, Dark Side of the Moon, of course, which I've played for many years. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the final cut, this album. And I just thought I'd talk a bit about the final cut because um, I'm going to entitle this video, like in my view anyhow, underappreciated albums, you know, or underrated albums, however you want to call it, which I, I think this is, I love this album. I know there's, it's a bit polarizing, polarizing, so should I say, in the Pink Floyd, um, the, uh, amongst the Pink Floyd fans, um, some love it some hate it doesn't seem to be much middle ground or, or people who don't mind it it's either you love it or you hate it a lot of people think it's just leftovers from the wall but i love these songs um some people view it as a roger water solo album which is not right i mean you got um it's it's got the subtitle of you know it's the final cut of requiem for the post-war dream by roger waters performed by pink floyd it's got David Gilmore, he's on, he sings on the one track, Not Now John, Nick Mason, Roger Waters, um, Richard Wright is not involved, a lot of um, like side musicians, uh, Michael Kamen, um, uh, who's, um, who um, was like, like a conductor, wasn't he, did the Metallica, the first um, S&M um, video or... Um, album so to speak um yeah a lot of um side musicians you know quite a few actually as you can see them there if you have a look down there all the side musicians but you know 12 tracks originally this uh, reissue from 2016 well the album was from 1983 originally uh is um has got when the tigers Rogue three added amongst after the third track so but um it's got the themes of a um, bit of roger and his um roger waters and his father and uh, about all that and a bit of the the falklands war and uh, very um very emotive lyrics very emotional album um i love the songs that's all i'm not i like lyrics but i'm not a big um what do you call it? Finding the meaning of everything. And I'm not really, that's not really me. Sometimes I do, but um, I just love the album, how it flows. It's got this um, vibe to it. So we'll just talk about some of the songs. Um, uh, let's see, so on the post-war dream. Really like this one. Uh, uh, good start to the album. The, the album is somber in parts. That's I reckon it's a good start to have. I really like your possible pasts. There we go. Um, do you remember me? Says in the, do you remember me? Look what they've done to me. Says in the lyrics. One of the few. The next song is a little short track. Quite good. Uh, when the tigers break free. Excellent addition to um, the album. Really love that one. And we got the heroes return. I love the Gunner's Dream. It just sends shivers up, uh, gives me shivers sometimes when I hear it. Really emotive track, really uh, great vocals from Roger. And um, just a great one of my favorites, probably my favorite on side one, but I do love the whole album, really. Uh, the, uh, Paranoid Eye is a good finish to the side one. Then you got um, Get Your. Uh, Get your filthy hands off of my desert. That's just a just a short track. Then you got um, the Fletcher Memorial Home. A great guitar solo from David Gilmore in that. Um, I love the lyrics. It's got a lot of impact in the song. I find uh, yeah, quite a controversial subject matter. Southampton Docks a favourite of mine. I just think it's very very a very nice track. And very, um, very, con uh, not controversial, but very, you know, um, 
a lot of lyrics, lyrics and or, or the song has a lot of feeling in it. Um, the title track is just wonderful. I love it. Just love it. Just got got those. It's one of the, I like songs like that's got that <clears throat> ebbs and flows, and it's got that sit, the part where the song just goes goes off, and yeah, I love songs like that. And very emotional song. Not now, John. <clears throat> Is the rock song on the album? It, I, lo I love the song. It feels, in a way, a little bit out of place. Uh, the only one where Dave Gilmore is singing, and Roger as well has sings a little bit of it. Um, but I, I like um, I like it as a rock song, to be honest with you. And a great finish with two sons in the sunset. But yeah, I didn't want to go on too long about it. I just felt I needed to do a video about this because I just feel. Uh, I'm not going to give a score or anything because it's not a, really an album review. I'm just, in a way it is, but I'm just um, telling you that I think it's very unappreciated. This would be, I, um, some people have it. I, always my favourite, I've done a few um, rankings on, a um, couple of rankings at different times on um, Pink Floyd, the final, uh, Pink Floyd discography, ranking their studio albums, and always has been Wish You Were Here has been my number one, which... Is is still I've always loved that album. Wish you were here. Um, Animals is up there, of course. Of course, Dark Side of the Moon, The Wall, you got Metal. But this for me is a top five Pink Floyd album. I don't know if you agree. Um, some people have it low. Some people love it. Could be even top four. It's it's quite up there for me. I always love the album. I just sort of taken to it over the years and. Um, yeah, I just want to know what you guys think of it. I mean, it's a bit, bit of a polarising album in the the last one with Roger Waters in... Uh, it's the last one with Roger Waters, but a bit of a polarising album in uh, the Pink Floyd uh, fandom, the Pink amongst the Pink Floyd fans, so to speak, isn't it? So, yeah, the, but this is a good sounding ratio. I really like that one, um, this one. I think they did a good job with the Pink Floyd um the vinyl, some you know reissue campaigns. They dropped the ball some uh, on some bands, but um, this one they, they really sounded good. Um, I've got a few other issues yet, but what do you think of the final car? I think it's a great, great album. Really, I really love it. Underappreciated, and I think Roger has um, quite uh, he's, he's a bit of genius in a way, in a lot of ways. You know, really where he um, as a writer for me and a musician yeah so there you go uh there it is what do you think of this album and let me know down below and i'll be interested to hear what you think of it but i, I really love it bye for now guys see you soon bye